Dr. Chancellor, and I'm one of the neurosurgeons of New Jersey. I work at Valley Hospital and St. Joseph's in Patterson, as well as St. Barnabas Medical Center and Mountainside. A cerebral angiogram is a study of the vasculature of the brain. Um, the way it is performed is by inserting a catheter into a blood vessel, typically the femoral artery in the groin area or the radial artery in the wrist. The catheter is directed up into the blood vessels of the neck and then we inject contrast into those blood vessels while um, using cameras called fluoroscopic cameras that are sort of like CAT scans to visualize that contrast as it travels through the blood vessels. The cerebral angiogram um, creates the most elegant and detailed pictures of the blood vessels and vascular structures of the brain and spine. It's the gold standard for visual visualizing those structures and for visualizing the pathology that can arise there, such as aneurysms or uh, vascular malformations. So an angiogram is sort of the base procedure in terms of diagnosing and understanding uh, vascular lesions in the brain and using the angiogram in conjunction with cross-sectional imaging like MRI, we can plan treatment of difficult vascular problems in the brain or other issues in the brain like tumors. Um, all of these involve a detailed understanding of the vasculature and the cerebral angiogram is the gold standard to understand that.